Welcome back again, I'm Chris Richter, great to have you here. Now before we go any further, please check out the courses in the links below, you'll find them in the description. I've got some courses on Moodle and how to use Moodle and also how to create plugins for developers if that's what you do, or if you need to learn how to use the platform, there's a stack of courses there for Moodle teachers, course creators, and some admin information there as well when you're using the Moodle LMS. But let's move on to setting up your own test Moodle server on your Mac laptop. So maybe this is your first look at Moodle and you've decided you wanna give it a go and see what it does. I run everything on a Mac laptop. And if this is you and you wanna try out Moodle, some people find it a little bit confusing. And over the years, I've been through the horrible process of installing all of the stuff that's needed to run the Moodle LMS on a Mac laptop and I tell you it can be really annoying so I'm going to show you the simple easy fast quick way to go about doing it without having to worry too much about all of the tech that runs behind it. Yes it will cost you a few dollars to set this up but I tell you it is much easier than going through the long way of trying to manually install everything and make it work on your Mac laptop. So this is the way to do it to make it really easy. This is how I do it all the time now and how I set up my laptop to run Moodle so that I can do development in Moodle on the laptop and also do testing and even record all the screencasts and everything is all done using this little process. So it's relatively simple. Let's go through the steps. First of all, go and buy yourself this product. I'm not affiliated with it or anything, but it does exactly what you need. It's called Mount Pro. Basically, it lets you set up a server and the requirements that Moodle has, and I'll just jump to the MAMP information because it will make a little more sense. It does say here what is MAMP, it's a local server environment. So to run Moodle, it is a server-based product. So we need to install something that does that. So these are the things we need. We need MySQL, which is a database that Moodle runs on. We need Apache, which is the web server that allows it to serve the web pages, which is what happens when it's out in the real world on the web and we need PHP. And PHP is just a web development scripting language that Moodle is created on. So if we've got those three important things, um, these others are pretty much, or well, this one's not essential, but the cache is definitely used a lot in there, but we won't worry about that. So these are the three things that we, the three most important things that we need to be able to install and test. So this MAMP Pro application, I'm sure it's not actually that expensive. If we go into buy now, here we go, 100 bucks. seriously, the amount of hours you can spend trying to get uh, Apache, PHP, and everything else, and the versions installed and running on your computer, this hands down saves you so many hours and hours and hours and hours of wasted time, and it's really quick and easy. So go download, install Mount Pro, go buy it, download it, install it. This is what it looks like. It looks like this, which looks a little complicated, but here we go, we're gonna get straight into setting this up. So you've installed Mount Pro on your Mac, it's on your laptop now. We need to create a host, which is where we're going to store our, our website, our Moodle website. I'm going to add host. By selecting add host, it'll be an empty host. I'm just going to call it Moodle 4.0 demo because we're going to install Moodle 4.0. Leave the generate SSL because we definitely want that. I need to decide where I'm going to put the file. I'll put the website. So I just go to choose here. I'm going to create a new folder and call it Moodle for a demo and select create and then select open and create host. So what this does in the background, it creates for us a website, a web server. It adds everything to it that we need, has everything all set up, but there's actually nothing in there at the moment. So I'm just going to click save now to make sure that saves. It says, do you want to restart servers? We'll go yes, because we want to save and restart. And you may or may not have seen there that Apache just went off and on again. So Apache is the web server. MySQL, which is where we're going to store our database. So that was the first thing we've done. We've installed Mount Pro, we've installed, we now have a web server ready to go. If I select open, it'll open up our host in a web browser. Moodle 4.0 demo, everything's all there. Obviously, we haven't done anything, put Moodle in there yet. So let's go back. Our second step that we need to do, and if I look at our list of steps, we've got install Mount Pro, check that is done. Let's cross that out. We need now to create a database for Moodle. So let's go back to Mount Pro, go to MySQL, which is where our databases live. Click on PHP My Admin, which is just a way of creating new databases. I'm going to select New, 
for the database and I'm going to call it uh, Moodle for a demo to create a new database. Now before you go any further, there is one setting here that you may need to change and that is this one here, uh, which is what's called collation. Now Moodle recommends that you use UTF-8 MB4 Unicode CI. If you go and check their documentation, it says we suggest moving to UTF-8 MB4 Unicode CI. So we're going to choose that because that's the recommendation. Let's choose Create. The database is now created. That's all I had to do for that part. Now, just going to jump back to our list. Okay, we've created our new database. That's fantastic. We can mark that off. We're going to download the Moodle file. So let's go do that. Go to Moodle and Downloads. And we want to download Moodle 4.0.04. So we can go with the latest official update, or we can go with the latest stable release. I'm going to go with the latest official update for now, and I'm going to download the zip file. Doesn't matter which one we do, both extract the same anyway. Okay, I've downloaded my Moodle 4.0 zip file. I'm going to extract that, because I need all the files extracted out of there. While it's extracting, jump back to MAMP Pro and go to Hosts. What I need to do is find where I actually stored or created the site, which is just there. So I'm just going to open that in Finder. And that's where Moodle needs to go. So I've extracted all the Moodle files. Let's grab all of those files, drop them into our Moodle 4.0 demo. It's asking to replace the index PHP, so we'll replace that. So the Moodle files are now in the Sites Moodle 4.0 demo folder, which is where um, Mount Pro told us that our website sits. Let's go and open our website and it comes straight up with the Moodle 4.0 install. So we're already well and truly into it. We've got our all the files for Moodle installed now on our server. We've got our database ready to go. We just need to choose all our settings. So we're going to go with English. We need to confirm our paths. Now I tend to, uh, because I've got multiple Moodle databases, I'd like to keep the data directory where it stores all its files and things separate for each version. So I'm just going to change this to uh, Moodle 4.0 demo. And choose next. You don't have to change that for you. You can just leave it exactly how it is. It then asks you what type of database we're connecting to and we're connecting to a MySQL database. So we just leave it at that because that's the MAMP Pro version. Uh, our database, we need to check what that was. So go back to our database screen and have a look and it was Moodle 4.0 demo. So I just put that in here, Moodle 4.0 demo. The database user by default is R-O-O-T, R-O-O-T, so it's just database user is root and password is the same. Now that's because MAMP Pro sets that up for you by default. Normally you would go and change that to an actual separate user account that you can manage and set permissions on, but because we're doing this on your local machine and it's purely for you to test Moodle out, you can use that and that is actually okay. Don't need to change anything else, just choose next. Uh, we've now gone to the page where it checks to see if all the server things are set. Now the great thing about MAMP Pro is that it has all of this already done for us. We didn't have to do anything at all. We just go continue, which is so nice if you've ever done it the other way where you have to install everything separately, it's frustrating. This just does it for you. Click on install and it will now go and install all of the database tables needed for the Moodle LMS on the Moodle platform into your new database. Once that's all done, we can just check that. All the database tables have now been added, which is continue. We now need to set up a administration username. I'm just gonna call this, I'll leave it as admin, but you should probably change it. Uh, you also need to enter in a password. So put in your own preferred password that you want to use. Need to set an email address for this. Select your country. Can't tell I'm actually Australian. And then update profile. We then give our site a name and a short name. I'll just call it M40 demo. Then there are settings here you can change. I don't need to change any of these. Save changes. The support email is required. So let's go with support at rickshow.com.au. Select save changes. That's it. We now have Moodle installed, and the web address for that on our local machine, in this case, is Moodle 4.0 demo. It is HTTPS, so it's doing the right thing with SSL. 
which is fantastic. We can then go into Site Admin and we can install all of our plugins that we'd like to try out. We can go to My Courses. We can create a new course in here uh, from Site Admin. Oh, there it is, Create Course. Uh, we can go in and create a new course if you like. We can do all the stuff that you might do in the Moodle platform all on your Mac laptop. I hope that's been useful to you because you can use that when you're testing things out or if you're developing in Moodle, you can use this as well. Remember, Mount Pro, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. It's just really, really simple and useful and doesn't drive you nuts because it just does the right thing nice and easy. Don't forget, I'm Chris Richter from Ricochet. Check out the courses below. Love to see you in those courses as well and you find them very useful, uh, both in programming Moodle, plugins, all that sort of thing, if you want to have a go at that. Otherwise, I hope this has been really useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.